Hi, my name is Mike Jones and I run FlashGen.com and I'm here today to tell you some tips and tricks on being more productive with Flex. Now a lot of people ask me, how do you get really good live previews with your custom components? Well in actual fact it's not particularly difficult. In fact it's three simple steps. So, so it makes life easier for your developers. Let's have a look at how we go about doing it. First of all we have a custom component. In this case I have a little FLV player. Um, you'll notice that inside the components dialog, if I drag out one of these components, we just get a little black box. Not particularly easy for anybody to actually incorporate into your application quickly and wire up. We can't actually see what it looks like. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple more projects into here. First of all, let's create a new Flex library project. And we're going to call this one FLV Playback Library. We click next on the dialog and we're going to choose the source path tab. In here, choose add folder and then browse to the source folder of our custom component. So we have that here, as you can see. Click choose, click OK, and now we go back to the classes tab. Now inside of here, we have a link to all of the classes and assets that we just brought in from that source folder. Now we only need the classes. So if we just check the com flash gen box, and you'll see all the classes are sitting underneath here if I expand them. We don't need the MXML file because we're not going to include that. And we don't need to worry about the assets because we'll handle those in a moment. So let's switch to the assets tab. Inside of this tab, we're going to add in any external assets that we need to include with our component that aren't compiled in by the class itself and therefore need to be included in a slightly different way. So let's choose the assets folder and our default CSS. Now the default CSS basically deals with what your component will look like if nobody provides any CSS for it. So when we actually export it for the first time, that's what it will look like. Last thing we need to do, choose the main source folder. Now as we're using a remote folder, we're going to use that one. So we just select that from the drop down, click OK, and then finally click finish. The compiler will run some updates, and what should happen now is if we expand our Flex Library project, you'll notice inside the bin folder we have a brand new SWIC. Now the final step is we need to test it. So let's create a new Flex project and we're just going to use this to test our components live preview. So we'll go new Flex project, we'll call this one FLV Playback Test. So once we've created this, we just click finish on the project dialog, select the libs folder because we're going to import the SWIC from our library project straight in here. Now we need to right click on here, choose import. From the general tab, if you expand that, you can choose file system, click next. Now I've already been to the directory, but you can browse to the directory that is the bin folder for your library project. Select that, then tick anything you wish to include. In our case, it's a SWIC. Make sure that the into folder is in actual fact our test libs folder and then click finish. You'll notice that our component panel is now updated for this project and we have our components in here. And then all we need to do is drag our component out, drop it onto our project. Now as we've just updated the compiler, we'll need to refresh the design view. So if we click refresh and voila, there's our live preview. Simple, huh? If you'd like to find out more about anything Flex related, feel free to pop over to my blog, which you can find at blog.flashgen.com. Thanks for coming by.